for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Two quick items here. One is uh, item number 311 has been pulled, and I would like to wish Councilman Thurley a belated happy 70th birthday. So, that's it. City Manager. I want to uh, ask Brian to take a few minutes and answer any questions, maybe do a quick overview of the alley project. Uh, we we'll continue to get some questions. I think what happened was the Council talked in depth in the in the uh, workshop setting, and then when we came here, it was kind of a quick vote, and people aren't really sure exactly what the extent of the project is. Yeah, I, I think is. you nailed it, Steve. We had a pretty good pre-council, at least almost a half an hour, where we talked very in depth on the program. Uh, synopsis of the program is there's about 200 plus alleys in town, and our program is looking to do approximately 10 of them a year in a portion of town. We've got the town divided up into 12 sections, the same as the sidewalk program. So what we're looking to do is do 10 of the worst alleys in 1 12th of the town. Um, program will last about 20 years. We're only going to do 10 or whatever the budget allows. You know, if there's not a month in the budget, we'll do less alleys. And the council has approved to assess 75% of that cost of the alley, not including storm sewer. The storm sewer fund will pay for the storm sewer in the alley. And depending on how many lots are in the block, it's going to be approximately $2,000 per property. Obviously, that's going to ebb and flow over 20 years and maybe more 20 years from now. But uh, initially, it's estimated to be around 2000 That can be assessed on your property taxes over 10 years. Um, pay your property tax twice a year so you get that bill twice a year for the alley assessment and open for any questions that you may have George uh, now is this going to also be based on the footage of your property in the yeah. in the alley yeah in the end that's what it'll that's what the code allows us to do is assess it on footage of the alley of alley access if you have an alley in your block and you're property does not actually front or back the alley, does not touch the alley, it, we can't assess. There are a few blocks like that, not a whole lot, but there are some. Just to be clear on that, if you have frontage on that alley, that would be assessed per linear foot of that. You know, what if your garage, uh, the side of your garage fronts the alley and the entrance is off of, uh, you know, a, a regular uh, street? That would be assessed just the same. Um, doesn't matter if you have garage access or not. More than likely, your garbage is still picked up off that alley, and there's always the possibility of your garage being built to access from the alley at, the, at a future date. So we do it on footage equally. Cool. So you said uh, we have like 10 or 12 segments or sections not all alleys will be done and over a 10-year period so you aren't going to do each out al every alley in each sec section not necessarily no. i mean if the alley's in good shape we, we don't want to spend taxpayer money on something so that's then it already... might be 10 years or so before we come back and revisit that alley 10 to 12 yeah okay. yeah and, and some of the sections in town don't have even 10 alleys in that section. So obviously, you know, we'd probably combo a couple sections to try to get what's budgeted for that year. Like your section. George? Uh, yes. Now, every alley, of course, will not need a uh, storm drainage system, correct? Or, I mean, you would not put uh, may one not in. May not need, and some already have. Right, right. Mm -hmm. But if it does not have one, we would not be putting one in there. Oh, quite possibly we would. Oh, okay. And that, that portion isn't assessed. Um, Winona's a very flat town. And to get storm water to exit the alley, many times we will have to put a pipe in if it's possible. You know, if storm sewer is three blocks away, we're not going to do a big storm sewer project to get storm sewer to that alley. That would be really cost prohibitive. George. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, I'm the one that asked for this, I guess. Fair so uh, if anyone has any other further questions about this project, they should call you or? Oh, certainly, certainly, yeah, I, I'm welcome, welcome any call. Can't guarantee I can answer every particular right. question, but I'll, I'll certainly give it a shot. Okay, thank you. Yep, thank you. Thank you, Brian. I do have one more thing. Uh, pleased to announce the Friendship Centers received a $100,000 grant. It's about uh, $34,000, $35,000 a year for three years. They're going to be use it, using it to um, do interviews and tape uh, folks, tell their stories about um, sort of them growing up in Winona and some of the issues that they've had throughout their lives. And we're working in conjunction with Winona State students for mass communications. Uh, and also uh, HBC staff. So congratulations to them. Really interesting to see that. Roll call. Mayor Peterson. Here. Councilman Thurley. Here. Craig. Here. Alexander. Here. Iden. Here. Borzikowski. Here. Schollmeyer. Here. Under the petitions, requests, and communications, we have item 3.1. A request to close 5th Street for a block party. So the market to Walnut Street on Wednesday, August 29th. Move to approve that request. Second that. Motion by Michelle and seconded by Pam. Discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Carries. Item 3.2 is a request by the Winona Rotary Club for the Ride the Ridges Tour on September 15th. Move to approve. Second. Motion by Paul, seconded by Michelle. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Carries. Item 3.3 .3 is the Winona Senior High School, hum school Homecoming Parade on Friday, September 28th. Move to approve their request. Second. Motion by Michelle, second by Al. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Carries. Item 3.4 is the Winona State University Street Closure Request for their Warrior Game Day experience on September 8th and 22nd and October 6th, 20th, and 27th. Move to approve. Second. Motion second. by Michelle, seconded by Jerry. Discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Carries. Item 3.5 is the Basilica of St. Stan Street closure request for Sunday, September 23rd. Move, Move to, to approve. approve that request. I'll second that. Motion by George, seconded by Michelle. Any discussion? It's a nice picnic. All right. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Carries. Item 3.6 is the paperback and pieces street closure request for Saturday, October 6th. Move to approve that request. Second that. Motion by Michelle and seconded by Pam. Discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Carries. Item 3.7 is the license agreement for the Watkins 150th anniversary celebration to be held on Friday and Saturday, September 14th and 15th. Move to approve their request. I right, second that. Motion by Michelle, seconded by Pam. Discussion? Yeah, I have yeah. a question. Um, the uh, request is for event parking only in streets that are around the building. I mean, uh, you know, have a, having a sesquicentennial is wonderful for this wonderful part of Winona's history. Uh, but I'm concerned about uh, potential impact on residential street parking, uh, you know, given if they're signed for um, event parking only. Uh, I, I hope that, uh, uh, you know, I, I'll vote for this, but I hope that the uh, planners are going to take that into consideration uh, when they have the actual event. What are the hours on this? It's, it's all day. It's, it's daytime hours. I, I believe their event is on Friday, 8 till 4 and 7 to 6 on Saturday. Okay. Yeah, activities Friday are 8 to 5 mm -hmm. on both days. Okay. Any other questions or concerns? We'll vote. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? <coughs> Carries. Item 3.8 is the license agreement for the Sanborn Canoe Company event on Saturday, September 15th. Move to approve. Second. Motion by Jerry, second by Michelle. Any discussion? Um, uh, yeah, again, just noting that this is the same 
uh, time frame of the Watkins celebration. Um, and I hope for both of them that we do have good weather uh, for that period. That's the mayor's responsibility. Oh, okay, yes. good. Charge. Well, I, I pass it along. If it's nice, I take charge. Yeah. That's the next resolution. <laughs> Thank all right. You. All those in favor, say aye. Aye. All opposed? Carries. Item 3.9 is a request for a temporary wine and beer license for the Big Brothers and Big Sisters for the Sanborn Company event on Saturday, September 15th. Move to approve that license. Second. Motion by Michelle and seconded by Jerry. Discussion? Hearing none. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? Carries. Item 3.10 is a request for a temporary wine and beer license for the Art of the Rural for the Boats and Bluegrass event, September 27th through 29th. Move to approve that license. I'll second it. Motion by Michelle and seconded by Paul. Discussion? Hearing none. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Carries. And 311 has been pulled from the agenda. And moving on to 3.12, the request for extended bus parking zone by the Winona Area Public Schools for the area in front of Jefferson Elementary. Move to approve or introduce the attached ordinance. Second. Motion by Michelle and seconded by George. Discussion? Hearing none. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Carries. And item 3.13 is a request for parking changes as a result of the parking study, and these are all in downtown Winona. I make a motion to introduce the attached ordinance. Yes, I second that. Motion by Michelle, seconded by Pam. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Carries. Under new business, item 5.1 is to set the date for the public hearing to consider the resolution to levy assessment for unpaid charges. The hearing would be held on September 17th. Make Moved. a motion to attack. <laughs> Sorry, George, go ahead. I would make a motion to approve the hearing date of September 17th. <laughs> Second. All right. Motion was by George and seconded by Michelle. And I would note we handed out the updated uh, list of properties as of today. Any discussion? Uh, I no? assume people can uh, pay these uh, charges. Uh, uh, going forward between now and the actual date? Uh, Mayor and Council, the um, folks on the list can pay the, char pay the unpaid bill up to uh, September 18th with no additional charges. And I think the letters go out tomorrow. Is that right, Monica? So the letters of the, that these are the amounts that will be certified will go out tomorrow to the whole group. Okay. Thank you. If you're ready to vote, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Carries. Item 5.2 is the airport FAA grant agreement for the master plan and snowblower. I, I would uh, approve the attached agreement with the FAA and um, approve the attached resolution. I'll second that. Motion by Michelle and seconded by Paul. Any discussion? Yeah, uh, I have a question here as soon as I get to it because we're flying through all this. Um, our cover sheet on the item here talked about revising the airport master plan, uh, but didn't mention the snowblower, but the snowblower is in the uh, particular agreement. Um, um, I guess, uh, is that something that we need to be concerned about if this doesn't go forward, there's, there's going to be a gap in snow removal at the airport. Um, Here in council, if I understand the question correctly, you wonder if this is not approved if we're going to have a problem with snow removal? No, we, we have um, a broom, we have <coughs> the files we do. This will give us a better capability of blowing it beyond the, the lighting and the runway. So it just it works better for out the airport. Okay. Thank you for the clarification. Anything else? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Same time. Carries. Item 5.3 is the East Lake Winona Shoreline Restoration Bid Acceptance, and there are three resolutions. 
I would motion to approve the three attached resolutions. I second those. Motion by George and seconded by a pen. Discussion? Paul. Yeah. Uh, John, a uh, question about uh, work task three and the, the, the bidders. Um, I'm just curious if you can give us some indication of uh, how local or regional either of these two businesses are. Mayor and Council, for work task three, that is the uh, emergent or shallow water plant uh, uh, procurement. Uh, the two firms that we received bids from were, uh, one was Prairie Restoration, uh, it's based out of, I think, Princeton, Minnesota, north of the Twin Cities, uh, and the other is Minnesota Native Landscape, which is also north of the Twin Cities, uh, but that both do work statewide. Uh, Prairie Restoration does have a local office, um, but uh, in the, so they're, they're Minnesota-based, they're probably 120 miles from Mesoflow Prize, as the pro flies from Winona, mm -hmm. but somewhat, so they're not exactly local, but they're regional, I would say. The Prairie Resto has a, a office in Lewiston. Correct. Okay. And are we, does the, the motion de determine who we pick for the bid for work task three? I understand there was some question about who to choose, or does that leave it up to you? Uh, the way the, uh, the motions, uh, are rather the way the resolutions are worded for two and three are that we would go with the highest rated bidder, but if there were specific plants that that bidder could not provide that uh, that, that local community members from either the pollinators group or companies like Winona or other experts come forward from the universities and say, we really need this plant species, where this would be really a great addition, and that the one the highest bid that we would go with is not able to provide that, then we would go with uh, other sources. So, find, so principally it would be with the highest rated bid, but there may be a couple species or a few, few, few add-ons that we would go with with these other the other bidders or another another or another procurer that's not actually um, sending the bid at this time. Okay. Yes. Uh, so, when would these plants be? Or when would this work be going on? The removal of invasives and the planting of the others. Uh, the invasive removal would start next spring or summer, and uh, would would probably be, be probably two weeks in that first year, followed up. Uh, the following year by a week work or so. Uh, the plants would go in towards the end of uh, next summer, so probably about this time, a year's time from now. Mm -hmm. uh, the seeds would be sown um, probably beginning in fall of 2019. Uh, there, may be, there may be some work undertaken this year by community groups, and in those areas we maybe could do just some small work with either the emergence or the seeding, um, and they would, but that would um, be a small portion of the overall project. I, I know that there are many people in the community that are looking forward to the to the successful growth of lakeshore plants and the diminishing numbers of geese, <laughs> of which there are a lot this year. So thank you. Paul? Uh, uh, thanks for your forbearance, uh, John. So I understand we're going to be needing some volunteers, perhaps because of the, the bids on, uh, on the... the the floating barriers. Uh, so, we, as on the second page of the uh, the council action item, um, we had a hard time finding any bidders uh, at our price level for doing the wave barrier work. Mm -hmm. So they, they're actually they would be bundles of the of, of sticks and twigs from actually removed plants that we would bundle up and put into the the lake, like like very similar to what was done last summer. And so these would be actually staked in, so they're not really floating, but they're 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 in place. Um, and uh, so we did not get any uh, affordable bids for those. So in place of that, uh, we were, I'm going to go back to the DNR and request that we can modify this piece and have a much smaller um, area that has these wave barriers or, or, um, or potentially would depend on volunteer labor to accomplish that, uh, that length. And I, I, based on the, uh, the amount of effort it took last year with volunteers, we did a great job. Uh, I think had a fun time doing it too, uh, yeah. but it would it would be I think time prohibitive um, to do uh, on the scale that this that okay. this grant um, had proposed. Thank you. 
other comments or questions? All right, we'll vote. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Carries. Item 5.4 is the certification of completion, final estimate, and resolution of acceptance for the Sunnyside Lane Sanitary Sewer and Water Main Project. Move Take to approve one. the attached resolution. Second. Motion by Al, seconded by Michelle. Comments or questions? Uh, just yeah. a quick question. Um, I know some of the constituents there were concerned about um, driveways and uh, road access given the project. I assume that's been addressed. Okay. I'm hearing most certainly from staff. So thank you. Anything else? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Carries. And item 5.5 .5 is the plat review for the MTT plat for modern transport at 1220 East 7th. Make a motion to approve the attached resolution and accept the two attachments. Second. Motion by Michelle, seconded by George. Any discussion? Hearing none. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Carries. Item 7.1 is council concerns. Well, let's start with Michelle. I'm hoping that we can have a pre-council meeting on the levy accreditation process. Um, I believe it was originally supposed to be done in 2016, and I understand there are some um, extraordinary complications that maybe would require some more time than uh, a meeting would allow for right now. So if we can get an update on how that is going and where we are in the process, I'd appreciate it. And then the Big Muddy is coming up on Labor Day weekend. We are looking for volunteers. If you're especially good, Jerry Craig's team may, may allow you to try some of their meats at the end of the cooking process. Um, but just go to the Chamber website. They have an area that's pretty easy to sign up. We're pretty short volunteers this year because we extended hours. So community members, please step up and help us out. Thanks. It's an amazing event. And on top of that, the Queen will be in town, or the Duchess will be here during the uh, big money, too. So Perfect timing. We'll add some more pizzazz down there, I think, and people. Yes. Jerry? Nothing to add, but I do have a question. What is the setback, the, re the required, just approximate, for a burn pit? You know, the ones that you have in your yard. What's the setback from a flammable, like a house or a fence? I think it's... What a ways. It should be a ways, yes. Depends on what the siding is, I think. Three but feet's not the appropriate setback. <laughs> <laughs> just just want to double check. A little beyond three feet. Yeah. That's it? Okay. <laughs> we'll be fixing it. Not my place. Okay. Jerry's not trying to burn down the neighborhood, don't worry. It's not me. It's my neighborhood. <laughs> somebody <laughs> somebody <laughs> in the neighborhood. <laughs> um, thanks again to the Winona Municipal Band for a a wonderful uh, 2018 season, although they were rained out twice. Uh, uh, director uh, Levi Lundak and the professional musicians uh, in our Winona musical band uh, uh, were amazing and uh, provided our citizenry with uh, wonderful music and entertainment on those Wednesday nights. We look forward to the 2019 season. Uh, on a fairly sad note, too, I would like to extend um, sympathy to uh, my aunt, uh, Dolores uh, Thurley Wicca, who passed away Sunday uh, at age 92 at Lake Winona Manor. Uh, sympathy to uh, her family, uh, my cousin Art, uh, uh, his uh, siblings, Mike, Carol, and Lori. So thank you. Thank you. Pam? Nothing tonight, thank you. Oh, nothing tonight. Oh, and George, boy. I'm sure you've got oh, some. Boy. Al, I join oh, boy. In, uh, in that sympathy mm -hmm. with you, as I know in uh, Dolores for a few years. A uh, person asked me, what happened to the umbrellas down by the levee? <laughs> the wind, we had a windstorm okay. and blew the umbrellas over, and they were, uh, the umbrellas are fine, but the rods were damaged, and the city staff is working to repair them, is what okay. I was told. Okay, so those will, that be is going, correct. those will be going back up. And also down by the East uh, Lake Fishing Pier behind the hospital, they took the sign down to repair. Uh, Ray Bamanick donated that fishing pier to the city, and that was to be redone, and probably getting close to two years, I see it's still not up there. So if you just yeah. take a look and see if that sign can come back up. 
and also uh, it's this time of year when we always go through delinquent water bills and things and as of right now there are two hundred and thirty thousand dollars in delinquent water bills so that's a lot of water and also just on just to close out on a uh, uh, kind of kind of a happy note. I would like to wish Monsignor Thomas Hargesheimer a long and healthy retirement as he re he retired this past week from the Basilica of Saint Stanislaus and wish him well. And we welcome Father Patrick Ahrens and he said he's coming back home because his hometown is Kellogg, Minnesota. So he called his mother and she was quite ecstatic. He's going to be close by. So congratulations to both those reverends. Thank you. Thank you. And under the consent agenda, there are two items. Approval of the minutes from August 6th and a claim against the city by Adam Hothost. Move to approve the consent agenda. Second. Motion by Al and seconded by Michelle. Yay. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Mayor, I move we adjourn. Second. Motion and a second to adjourn. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? We're adjourned.